Hey y'all, it's Andy. Um, here's one I'm working on today. Um, another piece of that pallet wood over there right here. Um, what I did was just cut it down square on each side that way so you know all nice and square and everything. And I'm about to get started on the sanding on it now. And I'll bring y'all back and give y'all a before, uh, before and an after shot of what it looks like after I get it sanded. Alright, see y'all in a little while. Alright y'all, I showed you what it looks like after I get it pretty much. This ain't the finished sanding yet. This is with my belt sander and then rough sanded with 80 grit and then 100 grit with my finished sander. But anyway, this here, just to get a little bit of difference this is what it started off looking like and this is what it looks like before the finished sanding's even done and see if y'all can't tell the difference in the textures here y'all see this is all rough and dirty and everything and this is oh it's pretty smooth it ain't smooth as it's gonna be yet but I'm about to get started on the uh, tracing out and all that on this I ain't I'll get this out of the way. I ain't decided which side's gonna be the front yet, either this side or this side. I'm kind of thinking about the other side because of that one little spot right there. That uh, that's just too deep to sand out right here. So I'm thinking this is gonna be the back, and this is gonna be the front, kind of like this. And once I think once it gets stained, and I'm gonna put a at least a little border on both these edges here on each side. I might put one around the top too, make it look like a picture frame thing. But I'll figure that out, you know, as I go. But anyways, just wanted to show you all the difference in that right there and that with maybe 10 minutes worth of sanding. All right, y'all. Um, I'll see y'all here after a while. All right, y'all. Here's uh, another view of that pallet wood side that I'm working on. I just got the first coat of white here in the letters. I'm gonna get the second coat of white done here, and then I'm gonna put like a picture frame border on it. But this one, the picture frame border is gonna stick out a little bit and actually look like a picture frame, where this is, you know, sunk in a little bit, kind of make it look kind of like that. Well, y'all see what I mean when. I get more done on it, but anyways, there's that one, and I got another sign that I'm working on right now while I'm waiting on this to dry, but anyways, I might give you all a clip or two of that one too later on, but paint just got dry on this enough for me to do the second coat, I do believe, so I'm going to get the second coat on this and let that be drying while I work on it, and then get back on that other sign, and anyways, See y'all in the next clip. Hey y'all, it's Andy. Just got another sign glued up here. Of course, you can tell I ain't even started on sanding on this yet. But anyway, I just got it glued up and clamped. And once the glue dries, tomorrow I'll come in and cut all the edges, you know, both sides, you know, even and all that. And this is the back side of it. The front side looks a little better. I ain't gonna mess with it because, like I said, I just got it glued. But, anyways, that's the start of me gluing up something. And, oh, over here. There's the sign for Daybird Aviar Aviaries right here. Um, I just got the border on here glued up it's, it's still drying well I got it glued up yesterday afternoon and it should be dry later on this afternoon where I can take the clamps back off and start working on this border here but anyways figured I'd show y'all what I was up to and see y'all in the next clip alright y'all I just wanted to show y'all this right quick this is after just the first rough sand and that last one I just showed y'all glued up. Well, that I had glued up. But anyways, this 
is what it started off looking like. Can y'all see the difference in that so far already? Never throw no scrap wood away, y'all. If y'all don't want it, send it to me. I'll come get it. I'll take it. I can use it for something. But anyways, it'll look a lot prettier than this right here after it's finished sanding and staining and all that. This is just after a real rough grit on my belt sander and then 80 grit on my finish sander. And, well, y'all see it there, so... Y'all see the difference in that. So, yeah, don't throw nothing away. All it takes is a little bit of elbow grease. You can make something look real pretty again. Hey, y'all. It's Andy and the baby girl dog. Uh, figured I'd show y'all what I was up to this morning. Um, just working on wood burning on a sign here. That's Smoke Your Ears Barbecue in Southern Cuisine, as you can see with Mr. Russ Jones. That's one of my favorite cooking channels that I'm sending this to. Um, I still got a couple more wood burning things that I gotta still do that I've got trace. Easy baby girl. That I gotta trace out here and another little saying here and a couple more things over here to burn and then I still gotta fill in the letters. Over here, forgive my mess y'all. There's the Daybird Aviary sign. I got the frame on that. I still got a do the finish sanding and get the frame painted up white to match the letters here but that's kind of what that's going to look like and I figured I'd show y'all what I was up to today and anyway let me get this camera turned around and I want to say something else just give me one second y'all alright y'all I'm back sorry I had to pause it and turn the camera around I I don't know how to do the whole fancy turn the camera around while you video on thing. But anyways, I wanted to oh, sorry about my finger there, y'all. I wanted to give a special shout out. Thank you to Mr. Ricky Wallace. He gave me a really cool shout out on this channel. And Mr. Ricky, thank you. That meant a lot to me. And thank you to all my new subscribers from him. My oh, baby girl's over there chewing on something. But Anyways, thank you all to all my new subscribers, and Mr. Ricky, thank you. I do appreciate it. And anyway, y'all see these signs I'm working on when they're finished. Um, and the next day or two, maybe three, something like that, depending on how the weather goes and how humid it is and how long it takes stuff to dry, you know, the sealer and stain and all that. But anyways, just wanted to check in with everybody and say a quick thank you, and God bless, and I hope you all having a good day.